and welcome to Epic Egging, Northern Chapter. This is our first instalment of what's going to be a wonderful journey. Today, we're going to do stuffed volcano burgers. Enjoy. So, now for the volcano. For this, you're going to need about a pound, three quarters of a pound of 80%, 20% minced beef. Uh, fairly lean, but it's important you get a bit of fat in there. And what we're going to do is grab a can of your favourite beer. literally just go straight through the middle and start to form the burger around it working its way up you're gonna need quite cool meat for this if it's too hot you'll screw it up all the way around form it up and then this is the genius piece get yourself some belly back bacon and just work it around and this stuff will stick like glue and make sure you've got a perfect burger at the end just with those little bits no need for any oils anything like that this will stick itself and then simply Wiggle out the can, and you've got a perfect cavity. Which we're going to fill with all kinds of delights. So now, what's going to go in these volcanoes? On the grill we've had, uh, using a half moon, we've had some bell peppers, some onions, some mushrooms. All sizzling away nicely for maybe 10 minutes or so. You don't need to fully cook these through, because obviously they're going to cook in there. But just make sure they're at a, a, a level where they're just nicely softening up. And you can literally put whatever the hell you want in these. If you like macaroni and cheese, put that in there. If you like sun-dried tomatoes, put that in there. Anything you want, that is the joy of the volcano burger. It's not just filled with lava. Now you'll notice on the, the other side of this plate here, I've got some steak. Basically, we've just wafer thin the steak. You can use any steak you want. We're gonna stick that on. One of these burgers we're gonna do, it's gonna be a Philly cheese steak burger. So just wafer thin. We're just using a cheap rum cut here, but you can use anything you want. And just before we close it, just going to throw some cheddar cheese onto the mix. Let that sit for another couple of minutes. And we're going to stuff these burgers. So that's about all we need to cook the steak. Keeping it rare, making sure it doesn't cook all the way through. It's going to make some lovely, lovely internals. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set the green egg to indirect cooking. Get it to 300 degrees, fill these bad boys up. We're gonna get the big green egg onto indirect mode using the place setter. Smash that in. I have covered this with tin foil. That's not necessary, but I like to do it because it keeps things cleaner. And the searing grill, which we're gonna put on upside down burger mode. Gonna let that grill get to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, we don't do European measurements. We'll see what we're doing. All right, so it's time to fill them. We're going to do three different burgers today. Uh, there's only three of us here, and any more would be excessive. Uh, the first one we're going to do, we've got some pre-cooked baby back bacon here. And basically, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to worry about not being generous with this. We're going to go in with that, and we're going to use some cheese spread. Now, the reason we're using cheese spread is because it reacts really well under heat. So you can literally bang this in there without fear of it all seeping out 
right in. I'm just going to soak straight through. I'm going to top that with some mature cheddar. Don't, don't be afraid to really get it in there. Trust me. Thank me for that later. The second one we're going to do, and please Americans don't kick off. I know it's not an authentic chili for the cheese, but we're going to do some bell peppers, onions and mushrooms, and get some of that steak in there. Get it all the way in. Again, some mature cheddar, just to really pack that in there. Like I say, you'd be generous out there. The second one we're gonna do, again, we're gonna go in with the bacon. Cheese spread. And we're gonna use some double Gloucester. And we're basically, we're just gonna chop this. We're not gonna grate it. People flying over, trying to get a glimpse. Like I say, don't be shy. Your mother wasn't. I'm gonna get the grill now to 300 degrees those bad boys in for about an hour it won't take any longer than that and they're gonna be pretty epic the other added benefits obviously is you get quite a bit of leftover topping that's an hour away and I'm pretty hungry okay so we got the egg down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit they're gonna sit on there for about an hour um, you'll know when they're done a little bit of oil on there and Given, given 10 minutes or so to sit, these will have really nicely formed. And you're just gonna wanna put them on there. Nice and even, right in the middle. Little spring, little sprinkle. And away we go. See you boys soon. Okay, so one of the rules when you're green egging is if you're looking, you ain't cooking. That would make a really bad YouTube channel. So, we're about halfway through the cook. Let's see what these bad boys look like. Yep, coming up nicely. We've got some bacon rind here that we're just gonna cook up for our own pleasure. As you can see, about halfway done nothing dripping out that's perfect and close the lid see him again in about 30 40 minutes mamma mia okay so we've been cooking for about an hour now by my estimations these will be done look at that Sprinkle some bacon right about. Just gonna make some good eats. Now, in an ideal world, we're gonna wanna rest these maybe 10 minutes, uh, purely so it doesn't give you third degree burns to the face. But I know you all wanna see what's inside. So I'll just gently Absolutely perfect. Just to give you guys a idea, an appreciation of the size of these things.
Boom. Let's eat. Just so you can see how we're dealing with it. See what the crew think. Yes! <laughs> and our biggest fans. Some good eats. <laughs>